you know, obviously it's been a challenging time for you, but how are you feeling at the moment health-wise? Yeah, uh, the last couple of months um, I've seen you know, good progression, um, which has been positive and a majority of that's just coming from, from day to day living, um, which, you know, the club's been unbelievable um, in their support of prioritising um, the health, or my health, I should say, not the health, but um, yeah, and, and yeah, it, I, I, feel, I feel so much better. Um, in, in doing all that, so it's uh, yeah, the last couple of months that have been a lot better than the first few. Do you see light at the end of the tunnel in terms of? Yeah, I, I do now. Yeah, um, yeah. What that looks like, what that light looks like, I'm not sure in terms of a return to play capacity. Um, that's obviously what I what I'm striving to do, and and yeah, every stepping stone. Even though you know the focus at the moment is on health, you know I've got to get healthy to then be able to train to then be able to return to play. So. Um, you know, the, the light's there, I, th I think at the end of it I'll be able to, you know, be able to manage and, um, and do the things that I want to do post football um, and then, you know, hopefully we get to a position where I, where I can continue playing um, and, and finish off my career here at the, uh, at the Adelaide Footy Club. So relatively healthy now, but can you give us an indication of what your, your darkest days look like? Oh, yeah, it was, it was, oh, it was, it was tough. I, um, yeah, you just, just constant headaches, migraines, um, the nausea, yeah, you just struggle to concentrate um, and just do the, the things that you wanted to do really. Um, so yeah, it was quite um, quite a tough and, and challenging period there and, and not one that I want to go back to, that's for sure. Um, I'm, yeah, that's why the last couple of months has just been been so good for, for the mental as well as the physical, you know, being able to get out there and jog around again. Um, yeah, they, they help, they go hand in hand in helping, um, you know, each other. So, um, yeah, no, it, it's good. Can you take us back to the incident, Steve? Well, I mean, I don't know how much of it you, you remember or whatnot. But yeah, no, no, I remember it, mate. It's just, it was just a knock. It was just an incident of training. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I think it's just from a number of knocks throughout my career. There's nothing, um, you know, huge or, or anything like that, that where you look at it and go, holy, you know, no wonder um, I am where I am. It's, it's just unfortunate for whatever reason that um, it's taken this long. What was it like? In, we heard it was it's just a marking contest, yeah, yeah, so it's in a marking contest. Did you, did you immediately know, like, if something was wrong or was it a couple of days after where, you know, you weren't feeling so great? No, I, I actually, I messaged the doc um, when I got home and I said, oh, can I come in tomorrow and, and do something? And he said, no, you've got to have with the concussion protocol, which is a great thing. Um, you know, you've got to have a day or two off and, and then once we, you start feeling better and you're, you're symptom free, then we can start progressing things. And a couple of days later, I started to get worse. Um, and, you know, I still haven't been able to manage, you know, that 12 day um, protocol, but what, I think it was six months post. So um, I'm not sure how, where that stands for me now, whether I still go through the 12 days to get back. But, um, yeah, it was, it was just sort of a, a steady decline for a little while and then sort of started to come a bit better and, and started to try to, to go for a run and, and, and do some weights and things and, and yeah, just found, found trouble sort of at every turn. So then we just sort of shut it down for a while. Um, and yeah, here, here we are. So you know, what did the experts tell you when you went to Melbourne? Um, oh, everyone's like quite positive around it. You know, they, they always say, I'm not going to be... Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, no one, no one said you know you, you're going to have to retire or anything like that. So, um, you know, I think after the three-month period, it turned into chronic um, concussion or you know the post-concussion syndrome um, that it's that it's lingering this long. And you know, it, it, it's such a um, complex um, issue. It, it's really hard. Like you know, each case is so different. Um, you know, people have different symptoms, um, different triggers. So, so it's really hard, like, it's just really an individual basis and, and, and really, you know, you're learning on the go as well. Um, I'm learning to, to deal with it better. I know when I'm not feeling as good, not to push certain things or to actually take a break when I need it. Um, but yeah, they, 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 they were great. Um, yeah, made some, some good inroads. You know, the people that I saw in Adelaide were great as well. And I, at the same token, I, I needed some time away from, from football and, and go back and see some family and friends in Melbourne to, to sort of reset and, and um, you know, get a bit of a break as well. Were there concerns about what happens after footy? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and like, I'm not out of um, jail in, in that sense by any stretch. You know, I, I still have limitations on everything that I do, um, you know, it, even from just like a mental um, capacity, uh, you know, 
day-to-day -day tasks. You know, if I if I got to sit down and, and have a meeting, you know, building a house at the moment. So you know, meeting with the builders, going through quotes and everything like that. Everything seems to be going over, but um, <laughs> which gives you a, a headache in itself. But um, you know, going over that, if you, if, if you put too much time and effort, you know, I have to say to him, Mrs. Hang, you got to stop talking for five minutes. I just got to sit here and and have a break, um, you know, and just sort of just take yourself away. And that, that's where Melbourne was really good. You know, I would drive in silence and have, you know, an hour to myself of just nothing, go and sit on the couch, not have to talk to anyone. And, and those breaks um, were, were really good for me and they still really are. So, you know, I, I'm not sure in the future if I'm working nine to five somewhere, I can just ask for an hour off throughout the day here and there. So, you know, that's the next stage and, and I am getting better with that. You know, I'm living um, back with my wife, Alice, and, um, you know, conversing throughout the day and, and constantly I'm dealing with that better. When I first came back, I was a little bit, you know, symptomatic. Now, this week, you know, a hell of a lot better. So um, everything's trending forward, but it's just slow. So what are you able to do? You said, like, you, you, you'd encounter trouble around every corner. What are, what are the things that you're able to do now that you couldn't do previously? Well, uh, some, some of the training, I was actually training at a higher level three months ago, four months ago, but I think that's why I found trouble. Um, I'd feel good, feel good, and then all of a sudden, you know, I must have pushed it too far. Well, you, you sort of pay for it in the days after. It's not always um, in, in the moment that you, that you feel it. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I'm starting to be more aware um, of when to push or when not to push and you know it is a fine line so you know like I've, I've in integrated some running and weights again um, you know very light you know, just four or five k jogs and 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 some you know 20 minute sort of gym sessions um, a few times a week and I'm, I'm tolerating them really well so hopefully you know with I'm still working and talking to the neurophysio um, in Melbourne and and she's and they're working with my program and sort of just adding layers um, as well as spending more time around the club you know that's that that also um, sort of, the, yeah, they sort of use the terminology of draining the battery. That sort of drains the battery as well. So you've got to add those layers in as well. So it, it's just all very slow, but as I said, it's going in the right direction, which is a positive. How, frustra how frustrating has it been? Can you talk us through the, the range of emotions that you've, you've had along the way? Yeah, oh, mate, the, every emotion under the sun, really. And, and you're probably better off asking my wife that. She's probably copped the brunt of it. Um, yeah, at times it's, it's been a real struggle and, and it probably has got the better of me at times. Um, but, you know, where I am now, like I, I, feel, I feel really comfortable um, with where it's at and, and the trajectory that, that I'm on. Um, and, you know, I've, I've got no doubt there's going to be some ups and downs and, you know, there, there'll be some, some mood swings in, in, involved in that as well. But, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to what's ahead and the positive. What does the wife and the family say about your, your long-term health? They uh, yeah, oh, oh, that, that, that's the priority. Yeah. You know, eventually I want to start a family and have kids, and you know, I don't want to just be sitting in bed and, and being miserable all day every day. Um, so that, that's definitely the number one priority is is um, life after football. Um, but there's also yeah, you know, I want to play footy. <laughs> so. Um, I want to put myself in a position where I can come back and play footy and have a crack at it and I suppose that's a conversation I'll have to have with my wife and family as to, to their comfortable, you know, whether they're comfortable with that. Um, but you know, I've got to be comfortable with it. I'm, I'm not going to be stupid with it. But if I feel I'm in a place where I can continue playing, then I'll 100% play. Have you reached out to other players that have been through similar sort of... Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of them and that, that advice um, from Angus Brochure, he sort of said to me, being comfortable with the fact that you may never play again was actually one of the turning points for him um, in his recovery. And, and when he accepted that, then going forward, he was, at, you know, he was able to, to improve um, and get back to a position to play. So um, that's what he said to me. And, and I, I feel like that's, that's the right way to go about it. Are you still comfortable then? Like, you know, as he said, you feel comfortable that you might not be able to play again? Yeah, well, yeah, as, as comfortable as you can feel, like you hate the thought of it, and I don't, I, don't, I try not to spend too much time thinking about it. But you know, I understand that, that that's a very real um, possibility. Um, but yeah, everything I'm doing in between is to get back to play. Well, some of the work I guess in your physio is kind of what you're doing. Is it like eye training? You know, it's kind of that. Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, and a lot like vestibular to work on the vestibular, which is like a thing in your inner ear. You know, just like moving quickly and and things. You know, that can stir me up a little bit with the symptoms, um, you know, get a little bit dizzy. So, you know, from where I was when I first saw her, um, you know, two months ago to where I am now, I, the, the, um, what I'm doing is just, you know, so much better and, and harder. Um, and, you know, another six months of that, 
uh, train. I'll probably have to keep doing it, but um, you know, I, I think I'll be able to get into a position where I can move around and, and play footy. Does it scare you, mate? Like, you just talked about all that, and you want to come back and play footy. Does it? I mean, I, I would imagine you have thought about the prospect that you come out, you play your first game, and you get hit in the head again straight away. Like, does that sort of stuff scare you? Yeah. Oh. I, I suppose so, and that's going to be part of the, the conversation and, and how I feel when, when I'm at that stage. You know, if I'm running around at training and all I'm thinking about is, you know, sh am I going to get a hit? Am I going to get hit to the head? Then, you know, I, I, I probably won't be able to do it. Um, but, you know, the, the work that I'm doing now, and again, Angus Brayshaw said to me, he goes, there's, there's a point in your rehab where you, you know in yourself that you're going to be right. Um, and he said, you'll know. Like, when you're there, you'll know. So um, if that moment comes, then, you know, I'll, I'll back myself in that, I, that, I, that I'll back my own judgment in. Um, and if it doesn't come in, then, yeah, then, um, yeah, it probably won't happen. Come back with the helmet? Balls, yeah. What's that? Come back with the helmet? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really spoken about that, but um, I, I don't know. Helmet and long sleeve, I don't know where that's a great combo. <laughs> did you consider <laughs> that during the conversations with your manager and the family and the club? Did you maybe halfway through it think we could just pull up in now and focus on health? Uh, yeah, there, there, was, there was a time there where I, I, I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel for sure and um, I thought, you know, I, I probably did think that I'd played my last game and um, yeah, the last couple of months has, has really sort of changed that um, outlook. Um, just on life as well, mate, it was just, it was just so frustrating and, and flattening each day. Um, you know, it, it was a battle. What do you look forward to now? Turned a corner in an ideal scenario. What oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no symptoms and getting back out here would be would be great. But um, no, I'm, I'm just looking forward to being back around the club and, and doing what I can. Um, you know, just seeing seeing all the fellas in in around there the last couple of weeks when I've been back. It, it, it's it's helped you know lift me as well. And um, you know, I enjoy talking talking with them and, and carrying on. So. Um, those little things, yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying adding those in and, and getting back out here to Adelaide Oval. I've, I've, I watched one live game in Melbourne, but just being out here and being involved in something game day, um, yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, Thank you for Is this your first one? No, nah, I've, ha I've had a few, and, and it probably, um, you know, the knocks over the years compounding as to, to why this one I reacted poorly to. You know, I haven't had, there'd, there'd be people out there with more knocks than me, but yeah, this is where. Um, oh, there, there's a few, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know the exact number. Have you had any support from the AFL or AFL PA, I guess, in the last couple of months? Yeah, oh, I, the, the support's there, I know it's there, but I've been working closely with the club, so, um, you know, there's only, there's only so many people you want to talk to about it all day, every day, um, before you sort of get sick and tired of doing it, so, um, yeah, we've, we've got a team that we feel um, is the right team to, to get me back to playing.